Hey, this is Leela James, and you're watching Madame Noir. Check out my new single, Say That, featuring Anthony Hamilton. Say that you want me, say that you need me, say that you have me just the way that I am. Say that you love me, put no one above me, say I'm your woman and you are my man. Well, the new single with myself and Anthony is off my new album that's getting ready to drop and I'm very excited about it. We have done songs in the past, so to do something now for this album and, to, and it to finally come out, it's just been a great thing and it's been getting great reviews and I'm just really excited about it because you got two, you know, soul voices, powerful voices together on one track, you know, it's yeah. good. The new album basically has a mixture of the little I just say it's some of this and some of that. You know what I'm saying? So I have some of my old me, if you're familiar with the old me, and then definitely some new me. And there's some stuff on there that I don't think people will expect to hear from me. Soul music is never dead as long as you got soul artists that are still around, still singing, and still making music. It can't be dead. If anything, you just you might think it's dead because you don't hear it on the radio as much, um, but it's not dead. We still here, we still making music, we still touring, we still doing shows. No, I used to because it was so much pressure put on me. I went through a phase of like, all right, God, Lee. All right, if this is what you want, and then I tried to um, find a happy medium and I just wasn't comfortable. So I just said, forget it. Like if, if you can't take me the way that I am, then don't take me at all, because I'm not going to change for you and nobody else. But you know, uh, I would tend to agree to a certain extent, because you do have a lot of people walking around using the term. And it, it seems to have like a negative um, connotation behind it. Like, oh, you know, when you think of diva, I want this, I want that, I got to have, you know. And it's just, it's too much. And some people um, don't need to refer to themselves as a diva, especially when you can't hold one note, let alone sing it. So I think the term is definitely overused and misplaced. Um, to me, a diva hmm, is definitely not some of the folks that are calling themselves divas. I think um, sex has always been referred to in music. I just think lately or in current times, it's the way it's being talked about. So then it just makes it sound real raunchy. That in that sense, yeah, it's too much. It's like, it's, I'm tired of Miley twerking. I need her to go sit down somewhere. I'm sorry. It's just too much. It's too much. Well, I'm born and raised in, L <laughs> in LA, so like, it makes sense for me to be a part of it. I'm actually from LA. I sing R&B. I sing real rhythm and blues. I think I represent what a real R&B quote unquote diva is and not a diva in a negative way because I don't think that you have to be mean to people and disrespectful to be a diva. And certain, again, divas t t tend to have this stereotype of who they are and, and it's usually negative. And um, I don't fit, in my opinion, into that category. And doing a show like R&B Divas, I feel like shows that we are real human beings. You know what I mean? Like we are real people, we sing true enough, but we also have real lives. And I think hopefully the show will show that side, like, you know, to me that I, I'm a real person. With real situations and real stuff going on in my life outside of music. All I can do is be me. And hopefully you accept me. If you don't, then God bless you too. I mean, what can I do? Um, in the past, it was just that, the past. You know, I, I, don't, I wasn't here for the past, you know what I mean? And I think um, that was a unique situation in itself. It was an isolated situation. This is something else. And, you know, we moving forward. We here now. So I can't speak on what was. I can only speak on what's here now.